Hey guys, how you doing? Continuing my run through the chess club regulars. We had a bit of a falter with Gavin. Lauren did not put up too much of a fight. We're now moving on to Freddy, rated 13.25. Might little, be a little bit more subdued today. We've had a, a tough day at our house. I talk smack when I play chess. So apparently this, this guy's meant to be like a hustler. Okay, oi, don't eat the box, All right. Got my books in there. Now what the hell is this? Okay, so when your opponent does something just weird and wacky, you just chill. So I'm gonna treat this like a kind of, like a modern maybe, and go for this setup. Okay, so now the light squared bishop can come out. If I'm feeling bold, I could go f4. Um, Probably safer to develop pieces. Knight here, oh uh, sorry, bishop. Bishop g5, I can like, because there's no h pawn. Because he's thrown it out in the board. Well, you can cough. That's the mood I'm in today, yeah. So, yeah, basically our pack is one member down. That's the fact. Okay, so I might castle this way. Ooh. Now, what's black going to do? Do I push d5? Or do I push like, just c3? I think c3, yeah? If you take, I'm going to take back. I'm going to own the center. h4 is an idea. Um, but the knight hasn't moved yet. And to be honest, where's the knight going to go? Goes here. It goes here, I can trade, he can boomerang back here. Yeah. Um, I could play queen d2, defend the bishop with that way, the, therefore, you know, the knight takes, I just take the knight. And then he's got bishop and queen. Hmm. Huh. I can always just dodge out of the way, can't I? Hmm. So let's say, like, knight takes a pawn. Oh, if he takes that pawn, I can just trade off and then win the knight. So there's no problem. Okay, let this. I think my, my queen still has this diagonal, which could be fruitful. We've got queen b3 targeting the, the b7 pawn. And he has castled. What are you like? What are you like? If I go g4, I go h3 and then g4. He can't go here because I just take, right? I'm going to go h3. I'm going to hold my horses on casting my own king. I'm not too concerned. Okay, now g4 now. If he pushes, bishop takes. This is almost a PDO, isn't it, really, to be honest? f4 even is, a, is an option here. Because he can't bring the bishop in there. So f4 takes. I've got knight takes. I kind of like this g4. Does that prevent me from playing f4 later on? f4? No. No. Now, the big question is, is this diagonal going to be up to much? What the hell are you... Okay. Well, if I take he's got knight takes, then we trade off bishes. Don't know if I want to do this just yet. Where does my queen want to be? This I feel is the is the right question to be asking now. Could actually even short castle. Queen e1, queen h4, something like that. Uh, this is even a, an idea. Contest the center if he takes here. Can take back. I can still castle either side. There's no rush. Kind of like this. If pawn takes, I've got knight takes. They've got two eyes on this pawn. Maybe though, maybe something like this. If he pushes, I just capture, right? The point is as well, I'm opening up this queen. So the moves f4 and knight g3 interest me greatly. Um, 
thing is, if I push f4 and he takes, I want to take back with a knight. So I'm going to push f4 first and see what happens, see what goes down. Okay, my opponent continues to surprise me. d5, for example, where the hell is the knight going? It's not going there, 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 or there, right? So the knight is going to have to go all the way back home or maroon itself on there. Um, knight goes away. I can capture here. Pawn captures. Hmm. I don't know. This is apparently the goldsmith pickle puss defense. Go figure. Oh, it's all clouded over now. It looks like it's going to rain. It's been a lovely morning. Weather wise, weather wise, yeah, we've. Um, can't even say it. Okay, chess. F5. F5 just really makes life hard for this bishop. I take here. This bishop just becomes awful. I could push d5 and expel the knight. I can push f5 and imprison this bishop, but then the bishop does have this diagonal after the knight moves. Um, I think opening up the queen is not a bad thing here. Knight takes. I don't have this because the knight can take. So knight g3 first. What if he takes here? Do you know, I, I'm going to do this. I know I'm kind of closing down this side. Okay, and now knight here. Is he defending? B? I don't know. I don't. I just don't know. Okay. Uh, okay. So, so basically, I, I am under defended a pawn there, but I can take here now. I'm not, I'm not bothered about these pawns, right? I'm, I can castle there. I can open up the king now because that bishop move was just poor. I can give check here with a queen. This forces the king to h7 or h6. Then what have we got? Not a lot, really. Kind of need to. I need to use the rook. I need to use the rook on the g file. I need to position the queen maybe on this square to go in there. Oh no, that didn't work. Um, here, here, here. Something like. These pawns are actually a pest. If I didn't have those pawns, I could win very easily. Now, however, if I push this pawn, I've got a square for my knight here. That's rather nice, I like that. Here though, I'm gonna put I'm gonna let the bishop take it. If he wants to take it, take it. Okay. Now I have this with a three-way fork. What the hell is that? Okay, I can't take the bishop because my king hangs, but it doesn't hang anymore after I take the rook. So now you can take the knight. Oh, yo, okay, all right, okay. Uh huh. Uh 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 uh. Okay, I'm only a pawn up. He seems to be throwing his material away, and I'm only a pawn up. I've got two defenders on here. He can eliminate one. Then I take, he wins a pawn. I've got a hunch that something like this and scissor down on here could be good. But I'm also considering short castles. I know it looks wacky. Short castles attacks this bishop, yeah? Doing it. 
I like Freddy. I like playing Freddy. <sighs> Just here. Now there he's got that. That that pins the rook. This we do not want. Here? Here? No, here. Okay, idea, rook f6. Attacking this bishop. Just kind of weird play, but it's... I don't know, I don't know what's going on. I honestly don't know what's going on. This... He goes there. Again, pins my rook on my, on my queen. We do not want this. So I'm going, to, I'm going to play this move, I think. Here, is that safe? No, he's got bishop g4 pin. Ah, am I trapped? What's going on? Here, you take, I take bishop. I activate my other rook. I don't have h8. It's worth remembering. Okay, activate the other rook. Let's go. Whatever. Okay. And it's raining. Okay. This pawn hangs. If I move the bishop, it doesn't hang. So something like this. The queen defends the pawn. This is actually one of the most entertaining bots that chess.com has come out with ever. I'm actually two materials down, believe it or not. My opponent's played like a complete kamikaze. Okay, if it wasn't for this pawn, I could slot my queen in there. That'd be lush, wouldn't it? That'd be lush, that would. Now, I have to activate the rook. I have to activate the rook. Where does he want to go? My hunch is f1. This knight as well could be improved. If I do this, knight takes, takes. So I'm, I'm, actually, I'm actually down two pawns, two actual pawns. This is a good night as well. Da, da, da. Da, da, da. Can't attack this very well. Queen, here's an idea. I mean, I, there, there are checks. You know, you could throw in a check. I could just get my king out of harm's way. That's not also not a bad idea. Let's do that. He's got a check here, but that's... I, I don't think I do. No. No. Not today. Two open files. Let's get the royal family to safety. That's not a bad place for the queen to be. All right, I want to get the king the hell out of there. I'd love to take that, but it's defended by the king and the knight. Curse this knight. I know I shouldn't be trading stuff off. Okay. Knight guards that and that. If I take here... He can take back at his leisure. I mean, he's got checks, hasn't he? That's the point. So, but I can't drop the queen back here. Here, queen checks. His bishop's also potentially now attacking that. Jesus. Can't play rook there. It's too much defense. Here, he's got this. King there. Knight comes in with check. Uh, 
This is a move, maybe. Let's try that. Okay. Uh, die, 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 die. Now maybe we trade off knights. Alrighty then. Can I get extra attention on that square? No real easy way. There, pawn takes. Nope. Rookie one. Thought you might. Okay. Stick on a, a light square. Okay, you attack my bishop, huh? Threatening like this. King can't take the pawn. Uh, is that checkmate? Well, me. I hope you can see me in the gloom. It's been glorious all morning. And now it's raining, which is about right. Uh, beginner luck. I, I dread to hit game review, but let's hit game review. I felt like I played that like a 1300. He played it like a... Okay, well, Freddy Bot, GG, neither of us played anywhere near our potential. 800 each. Hell's teeth. Four missed wins for me and six for him and a blunder each. Well, there's no excuse for that. Okay, I'll be back. Don't you worry. I like you, Freddy Bot. Um... I know I can do a lot better than that. But anyway, for understandable reasons, I'm a bit off my game today, but I thought I'd make you guys um, something to watch to go with your morning cup of coffee or bowl of sugar, whatever you like. Um, hope you've enjoyed watching the game. <sighs> Just what random crap we're coming out with. But this bot, I like this bot I'm coming back to. Um, play... Play the Freddy bot. He's good value for money. Okay, everybody. See you very soon.